All right, what's going on guys? In this video, I am gonna show you how to install some solid differential bushings in your SC300. Well, in this SC300 over here, if you can see that. Can you see that? So it came down a little bit. Right there, yes. Uh, but before we jump into that, do me a favor if you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button on the side. Uh, it'll help me out tremendously. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, <clears throat> first things first. I'm going to be installing these bushings right here. We got some sicky bushings. So yeah, we're gonna install this inside of the SC300. And I already installed this in the pumpkin on the differential here. If you guys wanna see how I did this, I have to probably more than likely do this all over again on my other SC300, the $600 SC300. So uh, just uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see how I did this without any, um, <clears throat> I see a lot of guys use an air hammer for that. I didn't have to use that. So let me know and more than happy to go over that with you guys. Uh, but anyways, I started working on this and I was using all sorts of tools in the, initially, tools down there. I was banging it with the hammer using the chisel and I wasn't having much luck. So I did a little research and I found out that Powerhouse Racing has a nice little toolkit for about a hundred bucks. So this is what we're gonna try, okay? You got a little cup that you press the bearing in. You got the sleeve that goes on the other side. And then of course you have your nut and bolt and seems like a very simple design. So we're gonna give this a shot. I haven't seen anybody use this online. Um, but yeah, so this looks very promising. Um, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this camera down, slide underneath the car, and uh, let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so I got everything out. Let me show you what it looks like. So far, everything's going pretty smoothly. I really like this tool. I will give you my official verdict on it as soon as uh, I install these two. But um, yeah, you might have noticed earlier that I took out the little marker and I marked it, marked it because I wasn't sure. If you, if you look very closely at the center, they're not really centered. So it looks like the top, it's basically, it's off-centered. So I was just comparing and this has an arrow at the top, which I just now see, but I didn't see that initially on the old one. So I just wanted to mark what side was the top, just in case everything was off-centered. 
so I know exactly how I'm going to install these things. But um, right now, what I am getting ready to do is uh, <clears throat> clean up the rest of the subframe and then lubricate it with some anti-seize and then use this uh, tool, this new tool, to install the new diff bushings in. And uh, yeah, after we do that, we can put the diff back in. All right, so I got everything installed. Let me go ahead and show you guys how everything looks. Here, give me one second, because I got to get underneath the car. Hopefully I don't smack anything. All right, so. Everything lines up pretty well. Before I forget, torque specs for the front, okay, is 108 foot-pounds. For the rear, 105 foot-pounds so just a little FYI there uh, everything's torqued down the uh, axles are torqued down in case uh, you guys don't know the torque specs on those 65 or 64 foot-pounds I'll put all of this in the comment section along with the link to everything you use today but overall everything lined up very well I did have to remove the left bushing the far one the one with two holes and that's because i didn't have it perfectly centered so when i was putting the diff up it was giving me a little bit of uh, problems anyways uh, with this tool set that made everything very very easy removing everything and installing everything you can't really remove these bushings with this kit like the new bushings because the diameter of the of the uh, sicky bushings are too big. So just, I, I ended up using a little hammer and a, a piece of wood to just pop them out. Um, so, but installing them, very, very, very easy. Overall, I'm very happy, I'm, I'm not surprised. I have a lot of things, well not really a lot, but I have a couple things from Powerhouse Racing. Um, I have their triple, triple, triple fuel pump hanger in this car and a few other things I can't think of off the top of my head. And so they do a really good job of, of you know, of their stuff here. But, um, but yeah, so this tool set, if you guys are gonna do this job, um, I, I've seen people use sawzalls, I've seen people use the hammer and, you know, chisel or, or these little picks or whatever. I've tried that. I wasn't gonna use the sawzall. And um, so here's just another way you could do it. Overall, it may take you maybe about an hour or so if you're taking your time. And yeah, if uh, there's anything in particular that you guys have questions about, I will, nine times out of 10, end up doing this all again in my uh, $600 SE300. So just leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, if you guys want me to go into a little bit more detail, uh, you know, especially with the, uh, with the bushings, how I installed the bushings inside of the actual diff. So uh, anyways, uh, give me a comment, like, and uh, hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.